Hey everyone, we're back with Farm vs. Tam, pretty much in the exact same spot as I left last time. Uh, this time, we're going to go into Gwaii Salam and do the entirety of Gwaii Salam. It's quite a lengthy place due to the amount of cutscenes in it. <clears throat> uh, off screen, I got two high pellet potions and five poison fangs. I wasn't actually intentionally going for these, but I just got them due to the rare steel, so I was like, oh, alright, that's cool. Uh, stamina Tablet is one of uh, the rare steals from the treasure chests I randomly got, so that's cool. Not that I'm ever going to use it, but it's cool to have. And I got a couple of Dragon Scales from the chests as well. And now I can fight Anima later on without any fear and stuff like that. Uh, you know what, before we actually get on the video, let's let's do our Sphere Grid, because Riku definitely needs to... Uh, a little bit of a boost. Cause she is under leveled. Cause she dies literally in two hits. <clears throat> so I'm just I'm gonna take her through her sphere grid for a while to actually get her agility. Cause on her on her sphere grid is like the, the agility and I want her to be fast. And then later on, I'm gonna get uh, get a teleport sphere and teleport to Tease's grid. That's the plan, anyway. Those lovely defense points and accuracy, I guess. Ooh, that plus four strength. How much strength do you have? Twenty six, twenty eight, twenty five. Okay, so now that Riku's in my party, Lulu and Kimari kind of doesn't re don't really do anything at this point. <laughs> I'll still use them here and there, but they don't really do anything anymore. When I when I play FF10, anyway, unless I'm forced to use them, of course. But Guadalupe, me and our old pal Seymour. Welcome to Guado Salam. This way, my lady. This way. Uh, uh, me? Don't touch oh, me, no, man. No. We don't even know you. I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. Business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? Please, uh, come inside the manor. All will be explained. Of course, uh, your friends are also welcome. Twist our arms, why don't you? Ah, I almost forgot. Alright, so now that Ricky's in our party, we can customize equipment, which is basically going to be super useful, especially late game, but uh, early game I'm not going to be worried about this too much. <clears throat> and this is again super useful in no sphere grid, but uh, we don't need to worry about that right now. What would you Alright, uh, so there is a Albert Primer somewhere, I can't remember exactly where. I think it's like behind here? No, no, it's not in this it's not in this room. 
It's in the... It's not in the inn, but it's in a room of some sort. Here's a chest. Mega potion. I'll take it. I think it's in this house, actually. I, I could be wrong. I can't remember exactly where everything is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the book's right here. Number 13. We're halfway done. Um, again, I'm still missing primer number 9. Oh, uh, key items. Yeah, I'm missing primer number 9. That's back in the Meehan High Road. Uh, I kind of missed it because I was on the chocobo and I was just sort of just rushing about. I'll, I'll be back there later, like later on in the game, so I'm not worried about it too much right now. I know exactly where it is, it's just I, I just missed out because I'm, I was just rushing. Elixir. And we can't go this way yet because he will, f uh, tell us to go see Seymour and stuff like that, so, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I think this is the weapon shop. Awaka, how you doing, bud? Thank. Do you have anything useful? Uh, water lightning strike. Uh... Basically, he's he's giving you a lot of lightning ward stuff because the ne we're about to go into the thunder plains next, and we're gonna take a shit ton of damage from thunder, especially if you're Riku. And these guys sell the exact same stuff, but at a lot, uh, higher rate. Uh, anything in here? I generally can't remember. Uh, doesn't look like it. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try to talk to everyone. Let's go see our old pal Seymour, who's definitely not evil. Definitely super cool. Super chill. Let's talk to my girl Riku. I wonder what smells so nice. I wonder what's Ah, uh, you say the same thing. Stay close. Why does he want to see? I think I'll see Lulu, unfortunately. These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. Mr. Seymour doesn't look like them, no. Don't you know? The last leader, Maester Jiskel, wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Ah. Oh. This way. All right, that's that's what trick is that. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we can't go straight in. We have to talk to Lulu about uh the law between Seymour, why he looks like a human guy, but also Guado, I guess. I will go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. Mm -hmm. This is good. Guado sure know how to eat. Gee, I wonder what all this is for. It's exciting. Stay on your guard. Why? This guy is just a priest, right? Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. You sure you don't have something against That's a really good quote that Orin says. People with power use that power. I lived a long time in Xanarkand. That is so oh. true. I think to continue, I have to speak to Lulu. 
There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question, and you're explaining things. You'd rather I say nothing then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira, and maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin too. Well. There are many things I do not know. Your Xanarkand is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think either way. Still, be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know. Uh, is that everything? Nope, otherwise it would have automatically happened, right? Is taking. I get the feeling he Okay, so it's a talk to everyone, I guess. <laughs> Truly, it is good to have guests again. Since Lord Jiskel passed away. These halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. But now, a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a Guado and a human. He will be the tie eh, that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star eh, that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough trouble. Must I always endure such praise? Welcome. You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this Ah, oh, feels bad, man. This guy is super cool, man. He's, he's, not, he's not a sinister guy at all. He's just lonely, that's all. He hasn't had guests in such a long time. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Mm. As it looked 1,000 years ago. The great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkin. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who? in somebody's bedroom. Lady Unaleska. She was the first person to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone to defeat the undefeatable Sin. 
It took an unbreakable bond of love, of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity. <laughs> that must be cold. Are we gonna see him get it on? Is this uh, what Seymour does? He he, he he goes into the past and see people like bang because he's so alone. <laughs> You're gay. Could you be gay with that majestic hair? What? Oh! Revelations. Revelations, bro. But I was so attracted to you. How could you be gay? No. Drink my sorrows. Wow, your face is beat red. You okay? That's what he did. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna. No. All summoners are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. We will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Why are you still here, sir? I was just leaving. <laughs> we Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. Alright, that was a bit rude of Seymour. He's cool. He's fine. He's not he's not evil. He's not gonna kill us. He just uh Is there a missable item here? I can't remember. Nope. Maybe I'll take it of ten to. Yeah, it's a bit rude to say why you're still here, Orin. Orin's he was just Yuna, about to leave, man. Daughter, Give him a chance. Seymour, the leader of the He's just an old guy, that's all. Married in the name of Yevon, overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? What? No way. We gotta defeat Sin. Romance can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, if it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this, but I 
I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat sin. Like Braska before you. <laughs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the far plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. <laughs> I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? All right. Uh, up here. Seymour. Don't, you don't have to love the guy. You can just marry him because it's good for the spear and stuff. Shenanigans. Uh, before I forget, uh, one thing I do want to do, uh, this, I want lightning proof, so she takes no damage from thunder. Alright, we can move on now. Question about this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. <laughs> you thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> You'll see once we get there. Let's go. Aren't you coming? I do not belong there. <laughs> You're scared. Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives and the pyreflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. Uh, Bebe. See you later. See you later, Bebe. I'll see you soon. You're still here. <laughs> I'm still here. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. I wonder, I, I guess Orb would automatically, like, turn into Paraflies if he went into the far plane, as he is. That's why he's staying outside. Uh, spoilers, I guess. <laughs> and Riku, she don't give a fuck. She's like, nah, this ain't my type of place. Which is fair. Basically, the far plane is, uh, like a heaven or some shit, or hell. Depend on where you go. Again, such a beautiful place. The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they look so happy together, but it got me worried that Maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. Alright. 
Let's go talk to Wakiris first. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, I gave up that game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe you were still alive somewhere, yeah? But then again, here you are on the far plane. Guess your place is here. So, how you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about. I gave him a sword. He likes it. Huh? Wow. Okay, so that cutscene, you didn't really, it didn't really show you a lot, but that cutscene actually increased the Brotherhood's full power. And now you have uh, strength for 10%, water stroke, and sensor. And it's very convenient that the game gives you water strike because the next area is full of thunder enemies and weak to water, so that's very useful for the game. And I don't think we have to speak to Lulu, but we're gonna do it anyway. No, you don't have to, otherwise, it would uh, force an account, uh, force a cutscene. He is dead, and I am still alive. Coming here really makes that clear. I should focus more on what I have to do now. <laughs> what, what? I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but don't be others. Hmm, that's a possibility. Mm, how about mm, Waka? What, me with Waka? Yeah, you two get along great. Getting along <laughs> isn't enough, not even close. Oh, sorry, my mistake. You'd do well to remember that. Knowing a bit about women might come in handy someday. Yeah, I'll remember. I won't be forgetting either. Goodbye, Chapu. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life. Who's a grumpy grumpy? Who's a grumpy grumpy? You don't grumpy grumpy. So, uh, Yuna? Yeah. I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bavel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jack. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Uh, uh, Mom? It, it's her. She's very pretty. Uh, huh. But... Wait. No one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there. Uh, that's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I I'm sorry. <laughs> I accept death. It's okay. Even though I'm alive, so I automatically go to the I far place. <laughs> Is that how it works? Figured something out. What? Why? Is that how suicide works? You accept death, and then uh, while you're still alive, and then your soul automatically goes to heaven or hell, and then. Uh, See. So I told You're just him what a I thought of him right zombie there. on planet Earth until so your body corrodes. <laughs> what, really? I, I, okay, that's pretty dark. I apologize. 
<laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Mammy! Just a sec, dear. Mammy! Mammy! Whenever my old man don't, was around, don't, uh... my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is she all right? Why should you care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say Mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Ah, go to him. You'll cry if you don't. Cry, cry. That's all you're good for. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well? Need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you just missed T just getting depressed, that's all. Hey Ricky baby. Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. <gasps> Lord Jessica. Oh, Lord Jiskel! He does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. Lord Jiskel! He is Lord Jiskel no more. Send him now. <laughs> Was that just now? That really Lord Disco? Wait, I know. I don't understand how a man like Lord Disco can die and not be sent. I would think that he was sent once, but he stayed on Spira. Something, a powerful emotion, could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death. Okay, gotta tell Mr. Seymour about our... What we're gonna do with his proposal. I will go meet with Maester Seymour. Yuna! Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. Wait up! I'll go with you! Yeah, you will, baby! Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. Normally Lulu would Looks come like here with me, but uh Seems that way. I forced Rufus to come in. Chance, huh? I'll drive over you, baby. Oh. Uh, honest? <laughs> Ouch! See ya! Omne Chacho! I print I butchered that. Yeah, I butchered that, but I I tried. Come back, baby. I wanna to talk to you some more. Where'd you go? Hey baby. Say, you ever think about getting married? Me? No, never. I think about it a lot. Aren't you a little young? Some people marry really young in spirit, you know. 
You mean people our age get married? Yeah. Themes are around, and there's always sin, right? One of them might get you, you know? Lots of people marry the first person they fall in love with, just like that. Really? I'll probably be the same way. Probably. We're still not done, baby. You an only child? Yeah. I got an older brother myself. Huh. I wish I had some younger brothers and sisters, though. So I'll ask your parents. Mom died. A machina went on a rampage. I'm sorry. When I get married, I'm gonna have lots of kids. That way they'll all have brothers and sisters. What? Yeah. You're really thinking about your future, aren't you? That's great. It's pretty normal, I think. Hey, maybe Yuna's back. I'm gonna have lots of kids and lots of sex, and it's gonna be really great. Yeah. That's that's what we want. Anyway, to proceed with the story, we have to go down here to the Thunder Plains. My, was the Lady Summoner not with you? No, she's at Seymour's place. That's Maester Seymour, or Lord Seymour. Oh, I'll be careful. Sorry. That's all right. Oh, Maester Seymour left Guado Salam a short while ago. You serious? I believe he went to the temple in Makalania. Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. Whoa! I gotta tell the others! Alright. It's very, uh, not... The game don't really tell you that you have to... Go to the Thunder Plains. When I first played the game, I, I sort of uh, Please, was me. lost for what can I do like to ten help? minutes or something. Yuna, let's go. But yes, yes, we are pretty much good to go to the next part of the game. Say Seymour went to Makarena Temple. Makalania Temple. I? What I don't get is, why would the Lord Maester head off without a peep to anyone? Maybe he wasn't expecting Yuna's answer so soon. Ah, that's probably it. <laughs> Yuna, what is it? Oh, nothing. Hmm. You're a poor liar. It's true, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. Whatever her ladyship says. All right, and just like that, we are pretty much done with. Uh, Mac uh, I was going to say Macarena Temple. Uh, Gawaz Salam. Uh, I want to heal real quick. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm about to get a save point in um, the Thunder Plains, so let's go. supposed to cross that see the lightning rod towers the lightning is drawn to them hopefully we head north not too near and not too far from the towers yeah meaning we should avoid wide open areas <gasps> I think I forgot something in Guado Salam nice knowing you okay okay I'll go don't worry, baby. You uh, you have lightning proof on. You won't feel a single bit of thunder. Thanks to the tutorial game. Why can't you just take me to the save point? <laughs> Anyway, we are here in the Thunder Plains. God damn it. 
Uh, fortunately, well, at least on the PlayStation version, there's a way to uh, manipulate the thunder, so you can um, you can time your uh, time your dodges, and it isn't it isn't like the jump rope, so it's actually kind of easy. Fortunately. Uh, let's take care of the uh, this guy. Cool. I don't have water. Uh... So Lulu. What next? Go with the flow. Are you strong enough to kill this? No, you're not. Ah, <laughs> you suck. Oh, missed the steal. Uh, rescue is a petrified grenade. My turn now. Yeah. Die. Alright, so we're gonna end things here. And next time we're gonna cross the Thunder Plains and have a good time doing it, I guess. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.